It's been difficult for us, hasn't it? It's always been difficult for monks and women. I have something to tell you, Margaret. I'd be surprised if you didn't. I'm leaving. Leaving what? The monastery. The church. I bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Men sit in prison, and I, I ruin cloth. Michael, I don't think it's... It takes only one bad thread to ruin the entire fabric, don't you see? <laughs> Many of you know... I am a weaver. <laughs> For many years, the good Lord protected the world from my obvious talent as a weaver by confining me to a monastery. <laughs> but somehow, somehow I escaped. Charity to greed, truth becomes fabrication, salvation, citizenship, peace, oppression, and faith in God becomes faith in popes and princes and kings. Some say they are the Antichrist. They may well be. May we accept protection if it's offered? If we accept a prince's force, we accept his authority. Christ used force to scourge the temple. But not with a sword. But he will... Hear me out. A Turk who wields the sword does so out of ignorance. For a Turk is not a Christian and has not heard the truth. But a man, a man who has pledged to Christ, think of it. He defends the faith. No. How can you bear to watch them suffer? How can you bear to cause their suffering? I could not take the first steps of this pilgrimage by myself. The final steps seem equally impossible to... to travel alone. Woman you sleep with is a whore! Margareta is my wife. Ah. Oaths and vows are made by men. Marriage comes from God. Is it true, as reported, that you say you would prefer to fight on the side of the Turks against the Christians? My meaning was. Answer the court! I said that if Warring was right. I would rather take the field against so-called Christians if, as you state, Turks know nothing of the Christian faith, then they are but Turks of the flesh. In the name of the Empire, but you, Michael Sattler, you and who would be Christians yet persecute Christ's followers, you are Turks of the spirit. Iron tongs shall tear the seducer's flesh seven times between his first ordeal and the fire, and then his body shall be burned to powder as an arch heretic.